Good morning, sneaker addicts. Just want to give you guys a quick, quick heads up that the Adidas Yeezy just released. I will have information in the description box below to help you guys out. Good luck, and I hope everyone that wants these to actually wear gets them. Uh, just a quick heads up because it's hard to find these and not everyone really even knows when and where to get them. I always suggest going to my blog, thesneakerratic.com. Follow my social media because I always tweet all that information out. And also the Dornbecker collection release too. So if you're looking for any of that stuff, it's on my Twitter timeline. And I'll put info to help you all out. Much love. If you didn't check out my Foot Locker video that I did yesterday, they pranked me, and you got to watch it, man. It's it's pretty, pretty funny, and I'll put a link in the description box below to that video. Welcome to a brand new episode. This is going to be my top five most hyped shoes that I own. No particular order, starting with the Galaxy Phone Posit. Now, this shoe was so damn hyped that it caused basically riots and they had to actually shut down all the stores that were selling these. I think a few of them were managed to sell the shoe in stores, but for the most part, it sold online because people were just going crazy about these shoes and they had to shut it down, man. At one point, police were everywhere. I think at one city, they actually had the National Guards because of this sneaker right here. So this definitely had to make the list. The Galaxy Phone Posit, an amazing, amazing pair of shoes and really set off so much hype. I mean, it really set off a lot of hype. And keeping it with the Phone Posit family, the Supreme Phone Posit one, they weren't even able to sell these at the Supreme store. They had to shut it down. Once again, the police came, shut it down because it was just out of hand. Too many people in the streets. And this was a very, very hyped pair of shoes right here. Definitely something that I grew to really dig. I love the colorway. They look amazing on feet. And I highly recommend them. I actually like this colorway better than the black colorway. Let me know which one you like, though. You like this colorway or the black colorway better? Leave that in the comment box. Of course, the Yeezys, the Red October. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. This was just... This took o this took over the sneaker world for a hot minute, man. I mean, this is an amazing sneaker. It looks fantastic. But the way they released it was just so left field. Just out of nowhere, they released them. And some of us were lucky enough to get our hands on them. The craftsmanship could have been a lot better. A lot of pairs are pretty shitty as far as the glue marks and everything. But for the most part, it's an amazing pair of sneakers. They look so great on feet. So this had to make the list. And these also will make the list and the pure platinum. This is going to be a top 10, obviously. I'm, there's no way I'm showing less than 10 shoes. But um, this shoe right here had to make the list. And it is amazing. This colorway and the pure platinums. I scored both of them at once on mid at midnight. They released, I think, actually a little before midnight. I'm pretty sure the Cavs were playing the Boston Celtics and then Manny Pacquiao had a fight that night and me and my wife were sitting on the computer waiting and waiting and waiting and I even had a 20% discount code so I was able to get these for under retail I got this pair on my computer my girl got the pure platinums on her computer we scored both of them when they released insane right I mean absolutely insane Another hype shoe were the OVO10s. I mean, you know, it's a nice pair of kicks. I like the other colorway better. <sighs> do I have the other colorway around me? I don't, but I do have that sneaker. I definitely do have it. But um, either or, OVO colorways are super hyped. And uh, not much of a story behind it. I, you know, I lucked out online and that's that. <laughs> the next shoe I'm gonna show is a shoe that really created a lot of the hype with Jordans. It really brought back the just the madness with people reselling and everything. So I'm going to show you these, the Concords. When this one released, the last time it retroed, it really caused like a frenzy and people were going crazy. I had so many people from high school that were never into sneakers that were hitting me up. Yo, I got to get those again. So there was a lot of just like casual consumers that were into this sneaker along with resellers that knew they could cash in because people were ready to pay whatever for these shoes. There was a lot of violence that occurred 
occurred. I even had, um, I forgot what news network, but some news network hit. The lines have been long at shoe stores today as sneaker fans try to snatch up the new retro Air Jordans. Crowds are unruly in Indianapolis, Seattle, and outside San Francisco, where ABC's Jenna Lane says a gun went off at one point. Richmond police say they arrested one man, 24 years old, for what might have been an accidental discharge of his gun in the parking lot of the Hilltop Mall in Richmond. This is as Richmond police were providing extra security because 1,500 to 2,000 people were waiting in line to buy the new Jordan shoes. 2,000 people waiting in line to buy tennis shoes? Maybe sees Alex Stone talk to one man who owns over 400 pairs of sneakers. It's a phenomenon Nike is able to take to the bank. The new shoes cost 180 bucks a pop. DJ Dells runs the sneakeraddict.com. He believes pop culture is driving this craze. He says for older folks, it brings them back to when they were kids. And you have young kids that just want to look good and, and, and wear the, the hottest sneaker that's out. Some are buying to resell them to make money on eBay right now. The Air Jordan 11s are selling for over 400 bucks. Alex Stone, ABC News craziness i mean it was absolute craziness where i had a news company hit me up for an interview and my thoughts on the whole situation this really caused a lot of like craziness violence and you can't blame the sneaker you got to blame us humans for not knowing how to act some of us at least let's act properly people like come on <laughs> they're just sneakers of course, I got to show you the Yeezys, super hype shoe. People have been going nuts. I have these, I have the turtle doves, and I wasn't able to get any other of the colorways. I wasn't able to get the 750s or any of the other ones, the V2s. Um, I'm happy with what I got, but I really like some of the V2s, like the ones with the bright color right here. Uh, no luck getting them, but these were very, very hyped, and people were going crazy for them. They were reselling for a lot of money, and... Yeezys are beginning to slow down as far as the resale, but still a super popular and hyped up sneaker. You wear them, people are breaking their necks, <laughs> going nuts. Oh my God, you are rocking the Yeezys. Da, 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 da. You already know what time it is if you own these and you wear these. So um, this definitely has to make the list, the Yeezys. And my number one sneaker that's the most hyped sneaker I own are the M&M 2s. Now this shoe only released online and it was an old website. I think it was Jumpman23.com. It was something like that. It was a Jordan exclusive site. Once in a while, they would release exclusives. Eminem had a book, The Way I Am. And to celebrate the book, they released these shoes. 313 pairs. That is, that is his area code, 313. So the whole deal was with this shoe. Celebrating the book. 313 pairs, The lyric, some of his lyrics written all over the shoe, and his favorite Jordan was the Jordan 2, so he picked this model to be the sneaker that he wanted to create this with, as you can see, he got cool stuff going on on the back, he got the E right there, and it's an amazing, amazing pair of shoes. I... Actually, my girl actually scored these on the internet. 7 o'clock they were supposed to release, but they released at 6.50, and we were able to score our pair, and the site just froze so many times. But shout out to my girl, man. She was very lucky. She helped me out with the Yeezys. She helped me out with this, so much love to my girl. And this is definitely the most hyped pair of shoes, 313 pairs. This is the shoe that people go crazy about in my collection. One of them, definitely. These are all sneakers by the way that are not samples these are all shoes that released by the way like my top 10 sneakers I own that release that you were actually able to buy like this was available to the public you were able to buy this you had to have the luck <laughs> major key you had to have the luck to buy the sneaker but there was an opportunity to buy this shoe and um, I was one of 313 people to buy it. It also came with a t-shirt too. And I think the shoe cost me 110 bucks. I'm pretty sure it was $110 retail. It did take almost a month for it to ship though. And um, we were waiting and waiting and we were praying that they weren't gonna like cancel my order because that would have sucked. Because you know, a week goes by, two weeks go by. You're like, you're beginning to get a little worried and a little frustrated, especially when it's a limited release. You're like, oh my God, am I getting this? shoe please 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 
And finally, the shoe came, and it came, I think, the day before or the day after Christmas. I'll put a pop-up where you can see a video. It's an old, old video on my first YouTube channel, so you can check it out. You'll get a kick out of it, especially if you've never seen my videos from my... This is, like, from eight years ago, somewhere around there, so it's, like, an old video. You actually see me unbox these and see them for the first time. Uh, the quality's pretty bad, but, you know... Keep in mind, it was like eight years ago. And um, that's it for this video. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your comments. Please hit the thumbs up button right now for um, this video right here. Definitely was a lot of work for all these sneakers. Definitely let me know what was your favorite sneakers I showed you in this video too. Or if you have any stories when it comes to some of your hyped up sneakers and how you obtained them. Because it's a lot of fun hearing sneaker stories. And... Um, I also um, have these Sneaker Addict t-shirts. I'd love you to pick one up. Look in the description box below. Check them out. Only $19.99. Ships worldwide and fits true to size. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell so you're notified. You'll be one of the first to watch my vids. And if you're not doing anything, stick around. Check out some of the other videos on the main page. Much love. We out. I mean, shit so fresh. I mean, shit so fresh. I'm in shape